Alright, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. We are on some Need for Speed 2015 and we're about to build a Liberty Walk Aventador. Now, I'm not the type of person to be like, oh, Liberty Walk, oh my god, um... You know, I'm more of like a, you know, I see the little Liberty Walk kid and I'm like, yeah, cool, whatever. Um, but, yesterday I finally saw sort of like a full video, I guess, of the SEMA uh, Aventador Liberty Walk and that thing looks beast. Alright, I love the color on it. And uh, especially when they showed uh, the, the the video of like the back of it when it was like spitting flames. Oh my god, it was so hot. It had such a fat ass and the, the extended arches and stuff like that and the big ass wheels in the back. It just looked amazing. So I thought that I could hop into this game and build a Liberty Walk Aventador because I don't really do Liberty Walk or Rocket Bunny kits in this game. Like, I, I just don't do builds with those because they're not really my thing, right? I try to keep the cars as clean as possible. Yeah, you know, like, that's not really my style, basically. But the Liberty Walk Aventador is kind of cool looking. So I thought I'd hop in this game and actually do that because I know that you can actually put a Liberty Walk kit on this car. So let's see if you can actually do anything else. But... I ended up buying this thing right now, uh, so there's the Liberty Walk kit that we can add on it, which is dope. Uh, yeah, we can't really do anything else. There's there's nothing really here that we can actually change. We can change the wheels, side skirts. We can change to what? Uh, ooh, the Vorsteiners. We can add, add some like carbon fiber bits and pieces. The exhaust is like the one thing that I don't want to change, uh, basically. So yeah, not a lot of stuff. We can add a spoiler. That actually looks pretty neat. Um, then a bunch of Forza wings that I'm not really a big fan of too much. Um, what's this? Sound system? No. Yeah, not a lot of stuff we can actually change on this car, which is alright, because that's not really why I'm here. I'm here just to turn this into a Liberty Walk event door. Um, I already have the design as well downloaded, somebody made it, and I ended up downloading it from the store, which is really, really cool. So there is a Liberty Walk kit added on. It looks hot, dude. I, I, uh, it looks really fucking good, especially because the one in the video has an army tricks exhaust. Oh, it sounds insane. It sounds a, like a beast. Like it, it's just loud as fuck as well, uh, which is really really good. So what else am I gonna do to this thing? I'm gonna tint it a little bit as well. So that's that's it there. I have to mess with the stance as well. The wheels. I think I'm gonna go with something, um, something like the Vorsteiner wheels. I think these are really really good. Um, they look really, really like good in my opinion. Maybe something to have a little bit more offset in the middle. Maybe these. I kind of like these quite a lot. Uh, I'm not sure how they'll look on the Aventador, but we will be able to paint these black. I do, we don't. We definitely don't have the wheels that the one from SEMA had uh, in this game. So pretty much anything that I kind of like, I'm gonna put in, put on this car, which I think I'm gonna go with these. Um, so we'll see. Especially for the rear wheels. Let's go check out those. See what they look like. Um, pretty much the same type of wheel. Uh, let's add on the rear as well, and um, we're gonna have to paint these black size as well. I have to increase the size to as high as it goes, and then I'm gonna paint these black. Uh, yeah, apply to all the rims. All right, let's see what they look like actually on the Aventador. Um, I think they look pretty good, honestly. Yeah, I think they look pretty good, so I think I'm gonna go with these. Now for the stance, obviously we're gonna have to slam this. We're gonna bring this down as low as possible, and the. Uh, the wheels are going to have to come out quite a lot as well for the front and the rear. The rear has to come out all the way. The front has to come out all the way. Uh, I'm going to add a little bit of camber on the front, a little bit on the rear as well. I actually wish you can bring the wheels out even further. Like that, that's, that's one. Yeah, that looks, that looks amazing. Those are some fat wheels as well. Oh my God. I like that quite a lot. Yeah, that looks, this looks good right now. So now the next thing, pretty much what we're going to do here is go ahead we can change the counters? No, we can't because we added the, the Liberty Walk kit. Now the next thing we're going to do here is actually add the design. Can we actually change the size of the wheels in the front? Uh, rims, size, no, there's, they're as big as they, can, as they can get. All right, now for the tires, I am going to actually go ahead and change the tires. Um, Should I give it some stretch tires? Hmm, interesting. I don't think I will. Or should I? Damn it, I don't know if I should. I think with the Liberty Walk kit, the stretch tires actually do suit it. So I might do that. Yeah, I'm going to do that. Um, we'll go with something... I think the Toyota tires would look pretty good because they have stuff written pretty much on like either end of the tire, which I kind of like. Um, so I'm going to do that. Some stretch Toyota tires. I'll go to the rear and actually do that as well and see what they look like. Um, so tires... That's not it. Tires are over here. Uh, go some Toyota stretched. 
Let's see what that looks like. And then, of course, we're going to have to change the calipers. I'm going to change the calipers to to some red. Uh, let's have a look here. I guess we'll go some Brembos. Brembos in the front and the rear. And the brake discs. We're ceramic. I think I'm going to go with some ceramic cross-drilled. Or should I go with the forged? Um, I might go with the forged ones because they actually look pretty good. Having the grooves in them. And then in the front, we try to do very similar things. Again, Brabo. Uh, Brabo? Brembo. Brabo is nothing. Um, and then basically the forged the forged, uh, discs. And that is pretty much it. It actually does look pretty good. I, I honestly wish you can bring the, the wheels out even more. That's that's one thing that I'd probably end up doing. All right. That actually looks very, very good. Now with the paint and wrap, of course, we're going to have to go ahead and apply the one that I ended up downloading, which is... Is it this one? No. My wraps. This is it, I think. This should be the one. Yep, this is it. This is the Aventador one. This is pretty much the same as the one at SEMA. Well, very, very similar anyway. And uh, this is pretty much what our Aventador Liberty Walk looks like. Oh my god, this looks fucking hot, dude. Like I said, not a massive fan of the Aventador uh, with the Liberty Walk. Oh, sorry, not a massive fan of the Liberty Walk slash Rocket Bunny kits on a lot of the cars. But it, it's just, look at that ass, man. Look at that ass. Like I said, I kind of wish like you can bring the wheels out even more. Alright, it's fine. It's good. I like it. Um, now, I think I'm going to just max this thing out, because why not? It's an Aventador. It already has like 700 horsepower, so... Uh, let's just do it. Fuck it. I have no idea what, the, what I'm going to be end up like building this thing for. I'll probably get it to slide a little bit, but... Like, I'm not entirely sure what I'm going to end up building this thing for, but... Uh, fuck it. It's already at 1,000 horsepower. Um, do I even have enough money for this? I probably do, actually. Um, let's see here. <laughs> Hopefully I do. 67, how much is this? 32, for the engine block, cams, 8,000, cylinder heads, 5,000, I don't think I have enough for this. Oh, another 8,000 for the exhaust manifold, we're at 1,100 horsepower right now. Ooh, exhaust system, clutch is already on that, NOS is another 6,000, we'll leave NOS out of it for now. Um, that'll be like the last thing I'm gonna actually end up putting on this thing. Alright, there we go, tires. Uh, we'll go, I think, with some P-tires, some P-drift tires. P-drift or pre-grip? Which ones should I go for? Um, I'll go with some P-drift tires, actually. Uh, brakes, I'll bring these up to that. Actually, no, I'll, put, I'll go with grip tires, uh, because I'm still going to end up being able to slide this thing anyway, but, um, yeah, I just want, I want the, the grip tires anyway. It's probably going to be, like, some, somewhat of a balanced build. Now we're at 5,100, and then the NOS is like the final thing, which I'm just gonna end up adding whichever one I can afford. So I guess the the race one, time refill, or action refill, I think I'm gonna go with action refill. Oh yeah, I think I'm gonna go with the action refill. So we're left with $827, and this is pretty much what we're left with here. This is a, wait, how much horsepower did we even squeeze out of this? 1,091 horsepower out of this Liberty Walk Aventador. I'm down. I'm down, dude, for that. Alright, now I'm gonna bring this over towards drift a little bit more same response i like that to be fast that's fine the way that is uh brake drift assist on launch control differential is fine 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 uh i think the the springs i'm just gonna uh, springs and sway bars i'm just gonna stiffen up just a little bit and then the nos i'm gonna bring that over towards that and this is pretty much what our vented door liberty walk looks like or liberty walk vented door looks like i think i like it i i i'm i'm honestly a fan i'm a big fan of this has some fat tires as well which i kind of like a lot um, but I think we're gonna end up going into some uh, into some photo mode or whatever it's called once you do uh, once you go out onto the 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 thing out on the road and uh, it'll actually end up looking quite good. So let's go ahead. Oh, I like the way it says like it's sponsored by like Toyo tires. So you got them tires with the Liberty Walk. Yeah, that's perfect. All right, let's take it out. Let's drive it. See what it sounds like as well, and hopefully it drives pretty well. I'm honestly looking forward to, to driving this. I don't know if it's gonna be any good, but uh, yeah, we'll, we'll we'll have to take a look. I'll probably enter into one like one of the drift events or something. I don't know. Um, even though this isn't like properly tuned for drifting. Um, all right, let's see. This is mostly just like a cruising car for me. Like this is pretty much where I wanted to to, to build this. I still forgot to change the reg, or the license plate. Oh, that sounds really good. It is turbocharged though, so... Alright, 
That sounds insane. Oh my god. This thing's just slamming off the rev limiter. Holy shit. It sounds really good. It honestly does sound very, very good. Alright, well, I think we'll leave it there. Let's go ahead and actually hop into it. Into Alright, so, I ended up bringing this up to this event up in the mountains here. I ended up crashing it a little bit, though, um, on the way up. <laughs> I, I brought it to a different event and I just drove up here. Anyway, um, so, yeah, this is the one that I wanted to give a shot. So, let's see what this thing is like in this event. I have to score 170,000 points. This is going to be a drift train event, so... I guess I have to let these guys keep up with me. I was gonna say I'm gonna have to try keep up with these guys, but it's gonna be the other way around. Okay, they're all in the supercars, so that's the thing. Um, and we're all gonna have to we're gonna have to drift. Okay. Uh, oh god. Just watch out for everybody. I'm just driving a bit too fast. All right, fuck it. Whoa. Well, I'm getting crashed into. Okay, cool. At least I'm still alive. This is so fast! Honestly? It's actually very good. It has the speed to back itself up, right? Yeah, it definitely has the speed to back itself up. I'm trying- Oh god! I got bumped into a slide there. The Ventador, the Ventador action. Oh god. Alright. It's honestly very good to drive. I thought it was going to be a little bit worse, you know, it's a supercar and all that sort of I have, like, a lot of control over it. Which is good. But honestly, I just wanted to build, like, a Liberty Walk Aventador and that's pretty much it. Like, just visually I wanted it to look good. And I think I've done a decent job with that, but now... I kind of have to wait up for these guys because I cannot get any points without them. That's the thing. <laughs> it's really good! Oh god, trying to turn in too much. Is that another Liberty Walk Aventador there that we have? I think so. Alright, we still have 1.8 with the multiplier. 2.0, there we go. Try squeeze a, a nice easy slide in there. Whoa! These dudes need to chill. Oh my god. <laughs> How are the AI drivers so bad in this game? Come on. Speed up. Okay, we still have loads of checkpoints and I think we're definitely going to be able to get the 170,000. Oh god, I'm getting pushed. 270,000 points, but... Oh, I slowed down a bit too much there. I still haven't used NOS at all. The amount of power that this thing has just coming out of the corners is insane. Oh, this is good. Yeah, it's a very good character drive in this game. I'm, tr I'm I don't think I've t like I'm talking too much while I'm doing this like race because I'm kind of trying to concentrate so I don't get crashing into everything. But uh, like I I'm honestly really really surprised of how good this is. 
and then speed comes in and I'm gonna end up crashing. Yep. All right, well, I got my stuff done, which was good. I got a little testing done. My front bumper is just barely hanging on. That that gorgeous Liberty walk hit is just, I'm sort of fucking with it now. Um, but I think the car turned out very, very well. I'm actually very, very surprised of how, like, how well this thing actually drives. It's, uh, it's really, really good. So yeah, this is it. This is it for today's video. Thank you guys very much for watching. The Liberty Walk Aventador build, SEMA Aventador replica, whatever you guys want to call it. Um, kind of got this done. I forgot to change the license plate, which is another thing that I have to sort of try to get my, my mind into, like, doing. Because I never actually did it ever. And then, like, since they brought the update where you can actually do a lot of stuff to it, um, I just keep forgetting to do, um, you know, to, to pretty much just change it. So, this is pretty much where we are now with the Aventador. So, turned out very good. It honestly is a pretty good drift car. Uh, right now, we can probably get it to be a little bit better just by changing some of the settings, but for right now, it's actually not that bad to drive. So this is going to be it. Thank you guys very much for watching this video. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. Leave a rating if you enjoyed it. Do all sorts of stuff. Share it and whatever. My wing is all fucked up as well. I just realized that now. Uh, but yeah, that's going to be it. I'll talk to you guys later. Goodbye.